Hey everybody, Sharma32 here. Welcome to the channel. We're here today to react to the 20th episode of Season 2 of Classic Doctor Who. The episode is entitled Invasion and the arc, the story, is the web planet. Now apologies if I don't remember much from the last episode. It's not that I, I recorded it like last week. Yeah, like last weekend, I think. My memory's terrible. The last night, I don't know, answer, yeah, the last three nights, I've uh, been up very, very late. Like one of the nights, it was like gone two by the time I got to sleep, to bed. I was asleep for a lot longer than that because of um, good omens gone. Or I've watched it all now. I'm speaking of my, uh, another reason why I might be a bit off and not remembering things properly is because last night I watched the finale and seen the finale or I kind of understand why my head's still not recovered but um yeah that was a uh, kind of taken off uh, out of me a bit and plus also I've got this to record then what we do in the shadows and then Red Dwarf all tonight and it's 22 11 so it's gonna be another late night late seven I'm recording on Thursday thankfully I am so exhausted already oh <sighs> But I'm watching this now because I know it'll keep distract me. I want to watch my good pro my programs. Plus, I've got very little time to record stuff at the moment, so apologies about stuff being all over the place at the moment. But the last episode, the Doctor and Vicky kind of concocted something with his star map thingy. It did something. I can't remember. I do. Did they even show us what it did? can't remember i know they used a the spider in the thing which makes me still think that the voice is a spider but then they both had the devices put on them i don't know if that was fake or not or they were just pretending i don't know if they were pretending to be led somewhere and then do something i i can't i not that i can't remember i don't actually know i don't think i to me it seemed like they were like pretending but if they were vicky was very good at it so I'm not sure it could be either way with that. Now Ian has managed to escape. He's with one of the um, Monoptera. And they fell down in beneath the ground. And they've met these things, which are very weird way of getting around, like hopping on the spot type thing around the place. It turns out they're the larva or larvae. And I never remember how to say that. Of the Monoptera, which is interesting. Like, can we, like, even if the Monoptera we've got that are on the other planet that they've or the force or whatever they're on the moon or something but they need to get back to this one to be able to still fly but even if they die out they've still got the larvae which can come out and then become new monoptera maybe so there's possible silver lining if something bad happens hopefully not though hopefully not i really quite like the monoptera costume like you can not compare if you don't compare it to like modern day standards costumes although quite frankly some of the modern day costumes look terrible they look great i really like them and i like the the way they had the movements where they're like like walking along like this and stuff like that and then the way they the way they did the flying as well through the air looked really good and it was heart heartbreaking seeing them all like being destroyed and stuff like that it was just like the only weapon was the act um part of surprise but because of the stuff with the doctor it wasn't surprising it's sad it's really sad now i don't know how they're gonna bring it all together because i believe we've got one more after this one i think i think so I cannot remember the title of it though luckily so i won't be spoiled but i believe we've got one more so i don't know how they're gonna bring it back around are we gonna have any character reunions this time because barbara hasn't been reunited with anyone since the first episode be nice if she sees someone even if like if she sees ian that would be perfect because barbara and ian together is just perfect but yeah i don't know how they're going to do it because they still haven't revealed what the creature is what the creature the voice is and again i'm assuming it's a spider because they're cobwebs and they're like afraid of the spiders like i think the um the zarbi almost forgot what they're called i think the zarbi are being controlled because the other somebody else said that they're like um drones and workmen, they're like harmless like things, but then suddenly they're violent. I think they're being controlled by this 
voice the spider i want to say spider because that's what i'm leaning towards because of the cobwebs otherwise what the fuck is the point in the cobwebs yeah i'm really interested to see what comes after last week apologies if i've forgotten anything important hopefully i'll remember as we go along but literally my head feels like i'm zombified but i'm hoping watching some stuff now will help wake me up you know but yeah, if you enjoy the reaction, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, give the notification bell a tick, you'll know when the next episode goes live. Let's get going with the reaction. In three, two, one, let's go. It was great watching Good Omens because I had two doctors in that. And a son of a doctor. Grandson of a doctor. Peter Davison and Ty Tennant as well. But yeah. So I've got Doctor Who on the brain, kind of. Okay. Oh, they managed to get away. Okay, somehow. Run around a lot around that. Ah, fair enough. Okay, now my chair's is moving all over the place. How are we going to get out? Is he going to... Oh, what the... Okay, that's fucking random. Just get in. Doesn't matter where it leads. Just get in out of the way. I like how the doctor's still meant to be hit, like... In, in a trance, but he's still got his cane up perfectly. Yep, they're pretending I knew it. I, but she's really good at it. The actress is really good with that thing around her neck because, like, some of the like faces and that is great. Careful, Vicky. Oh, so she was in, in a trance, but the doctor was. Oh. Why is she? Why is she got it back around her neck? And why didn't? I can't work out why it didn't affect him, or it affected him, but not her. Necklace no longer works on us. Perhaps the force field is being the Oh, worst. yeah, maybe it works on them. I can control that necklace with this power of my ring. What power does it hold? Yeah, what power does it hold? Do you think they won't notice the fact he hasn't got a neck thing on anymore? Where am I? What are you doing? Like, hang on a minute, how the hell did that fall off? I love William Hartnell. He's so good. Did it work or is it just following the doctor around? Doctor, you've done it! How marvellous! What next? Well, I think we should get our friend to okay. take us out of here. Go outside, keep your eyes open. A fair play to the actor inside that being bent down like that. Must be a really unusual weight to have on top of them. I thought we'd have seen more of these creatures, yes, Doctor. It appears they've gone to the plateau. Yeah, they mm. have. Well, there's one good thing. At least that spearhead will make it easier for us to get oh, out of Oh, don't count your chickens, don't child. Don't say that, no. Plus, we don't want the Monoptera to die, but they don't know that, do they? They haven't encountered those. For all they know, they could be um warlike. Even, like, worse than these, can't they? What the fuck is that? That looks like a slug. Oh, it's not another species down here. Oh, oh, butterfly wings there. Oh, it's absolutely beautiful. Is it butter? What the hell is going? It's inside that building that we saw. The Temple of the Light. The song spinners of our race sang of their beauty, but I thought they could never be found again. Is it one of those big like that? Like um, it wasn't a pyramid, but you know what building I mean, right? Is no sound. The Zabi have gone. Looks really cool. If one of us must explore. No, not yet. They will leave guards. Or if not, not. Oh, God, that made me jump. Code word electron. Crapelius, I brought him. Linear. Aww. The spearhead has failed. The spearhead must succeed. Really interesting arm movements. It's like they're still flying. It's a really interesting choice. Are they all dead? Dead or prisoners? It's sad. It was horrible to watch. Cannot know where to land. Yeah. They too will be massacred. The Monoptera will be no more. Not true. We got their larvae. The Monoptera have no wisdom for war. Ah, they did say that, didn't they? Before yeah. the Animus came. I keep forgetting it's called Animus. I should remember that, considering Assassin's Creed. 
Our banishment has taught us of enemies, and my captivity has taught me strategy. They tore my wings from me, and I felt... I you hate feel that that happened. That, that all was lost. I don't like moths and butterflies, but in like in this, like even moths and butterflies tearing the wings off them is horrific. Like, I've got a phobia of moths, but I wouldn't do that, you know. This earth woman, we must trust, for she can Helping show us you. how to exist without wings, to survive and flourish. There we go. He's trying to. He's got to see the good in what's going on. Had we met with no resistance, we were to proceed. I recognise that one's voice from another episode, I think. Either that or it's the last episode and I'm just forgetting which one's which. Which could be possible, yeah. A living cell destructor? Yes. Oh, they did say about a weapon, yeah. Have reversed the process, made the cells grow in woods and die. Oh, God. The electron guns failed to work against the Zabi. Would this have failed too? Well, there's only one way to find out. Attack the animals. It cannot you gotta try. work out. We are too few. The only alternative is to stay here, perhaps for years. Sometimes having too few is a good thing, because then you can sneak past, in my, in my eyes, anyway. We have no choice. They have strength down here. Their fears of the surface okay. may grow too strong. But they will try. It's better than being thrown into the fire. <laughs> Breathe. Hate. And in These ones the make me chuckle. Grows the root of evil. Quadara. Quadara? What's that? Nemini will leave. Keep close to me. These ones are really weird. The fact they hop everywhere is it's just it's a weird character choice, you know? Or design choice. Are they going to see the creature, like the voice? Because if they can get there, how have they not been destroyed by the Zarbi unless it's separate? That sounded like a horse. Oh, God. My eyes are going weird already from this. There's a reason I'm watching this on uh, ITVX, so I've got subtitles. Hello, oh, well, my dear. So far, so good? Hmm? Doctor, how are we going to find the Monotra? They could be anywhere yeah. on this planet. Yes, the Zab is left here to go to the spearhead. Yes, with luck, we can follow their tracks. <laughs> oh, yeah. Let's get moving. What about that thing? And the same to you. Mm. <laughs> hey, that Zabi sounds like a horse. Oh, mm. I'm getting quite fond of Zombo. What? Zombo? Zombo, it's his name. I gave it to him. Oh, I see. I see. He's quite cute, isn't he, when he's like... Oh, well, I, I guess this is kind of what they were like before. before. Yeah, but since you mentioned it, uh, no, I don't think so. <laughs> but just you remember, child, if we lose him, there's about 200 or more ahead of us just like that. Aw, poor Zombo. Where is this tunnel leading? Is it leading to the voice? Right, the chief of... Stone. Or is it just the root of the, the web? Or the bottom of the building, the basement of the building part? Ah, oh, yes, terrible. Yes. <laughs> they are more used to it than we are, Heron. I call him Heron. Instead of Ian now. <laughs> this is a very weird episode. These creatures are just strange. But they might have more knowledge on what to do with the Zarbi, you know? They might actually help in that way. Uh, Question all right? Uh, Ian, be careful. Well, they can't go back, can they? Create a mock attack here in the south in order to draw off the Zarbi. Then while this is happening, one of us tries to get into the centre from the north. It will fail. Even oh, if charming. it drew most of the Zabi, it would require just one larvae gun to stop the real attack. Then what is your idea? I could fly over the Carzinome and try and cut my way in from above. The, no, the Carzinome is strong. Hey, This one just doesn't like her, does he? He wants to be the one that does it, I think. That's what it seems like, anyway. 
Is it the doctor? Too late! I... If it's Abby, the doors will not open. Who is it? The doctor. No. Do not attack me. It's quite harmless. Doctor. My dear Barbara. Hey, finally she's reunited with some people. Oh dear. I would love it if he's on the other side of the wall. <laughs> oh, you're really struggling, ain't she? Vega sleeps at our feet. Move slowly. Nemini. I like how that one's like giving her encouraging words. So I'd love it if they the actually will they managed to break into there and they're all together. That would be freaking brilliant. And everybody worked together to do it. Get away! No, no, no. She's gonna she burn her to die. Oh, we will die. Oh, the meaning, no. Oh, that's really sad. That she just did it and they couldn't even try and help. He feels They're really on. guilty, doesn't he? They have broken the wall. He feel lucky. I don't blame him for feeling sad. It's not fair. Poor thing. Do you know? No. No one knows. An alien from the darkness of space. It's a big spider, Matt. Our legends of it only begin when it was already thinking itself into the crannies of Vortis. Okay. How did it get there, then? Where does it draw its power from? Hmm? Is there the power fire? in the magnetic pole of the planet? Yes, the magnetic pole, I see. Their theory would would explain the new moons that have appeared in the sky. Because the magnetic pole. I wonder why I didn't yeah. realise that before. The same force okay. drew and holds the TARDIS here. That's right, yeah. I didn't even think about that. <laughs> Go ahead with the mock attack as planned. That would be your responsibility, my dear. A time yeah. you shall agree to. Yes, Doctor. And? What's the difference? I shall take along with me. The girl and I will return to the Zarbi headquarters. With the Zarbi. Our wise men have put all their skill into this one isotope. I cannot yield it to a stranger. Take one in as a hostage? Can you take the isotope past the Zarbi guards in safety? Of course. I don't see why not. Helio. Take one of them as a the first hostage, maybe? Of the Minoptra ever to leave the Carcinome. We must trust. Yeah, because they did say nobody ever comes back, and they did leave. I have great admiration for your wise men and their judgment. I like how he's respectful of them and about what they think in their way. Once you're safely there, we start the attack to draw out the Zabi while you make for the center. Yeah, okay. I wondered if we could borrow this creature. I think he uh -huh. would be very useful in our attack. You think so, do you? I have made a study of yeah. the Zabi. I think okay. I could make use of him. You do? I, there's one of them I don't trust, I? you know? Please. I can't work out which one it is now. I've lost track of who's who. I feel like he might have been the ones to let the creature down. I'm, I'm just guessing. I've got so many... I don't know how the creature could have got down here. Is uh, anything wrong? No, no, my dear, no. No, a small bit. Our friend here okay. suggested that the creature goes along with your party. And I was thanking the doctor for his faith in our isoptope. I don't trust them. I don't trust them. Something else is going on. Oh, no. He's going to use the ring. May I know oh, it's no. secret? You may not. Nope. Use it and return it. Forgive me. On your life, return it. I hope that one dies then. I feel like that one might die. I feel like that one of them's going to betray, maybe. I don't know. I'm guessing, every, second guessing everything. I can't not see either of their facial features at all. You gotta hide it. I would be less conspicuous with you. No. Oh. He can put it in a pocket. She's got no freaking pockets or anything to hide it in. I want to put it in his bloody pocket, to be honest. That made the most sense. Oh, whoa, that's an interesting camera angle. He's above us now. Are they right below them? Heron, what should we do? We go up. Hey. Okay. Like all the big things are happening all at once. 
like storylines converging. Okay. I hope the Zarbi don't get all destroyed, you know? I hope they, like, break out of the control. Or once the creature's destroyed, they come back to where how they should be. Oh, better be careful. Okay. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> what the hell? They've cocoon. Oh, oh, okay. They've kind of put it in like a cocoon type. Oh, okay. Oh. All right then. Um. That was another like moving things along episode, but things. We've had a reunion. Barbara's now back with the others, which I said I kind of wanted. She hadn't seen anybody else since the first episode of the story. And like Ian, I bet they're right below it, maybe. That's just because we went from what we went from. Seeing them looking up kind of maybe gave, gave me that impression because he said it was at the centre. Or is that the magnetic pole? And it's in, I'm assuming, part of the building, the animus type of stuff. I'm not sure. There's one of the Monoptera I'm not sure I trust. I cannot tell which one's which now. My head's just gone. I don't know which one's which. Like rest, rest, resting. I have trouble with when you got an R as a second letter sometimes. But that, I know that's the one with Ian. The only one I can keep track of. Really sad about the. Um, I've forgotten what the larvae are called. Oh, I literally, I cannot remember. Like, it's not even there and I can't get to it type thing. I know it's just not there at all. But, um, I'm really sad about the one that died. Like, Ian wanted to help her and, like, felt really guilty in that. So, it, like, it's... Stuff happened, but it's not... this stuff, Look, the story's got potential. Like, you can tell they spent a bit on this story as well. Because, like, the last episode where the flying Monoptera and the monotonous outfits and the costumes of the Darby as well. And the sets, there's a lot of different sets as well. There's multiple different sets. You can tell they spent money, but it's just like, it's all right. It's not bad. It's not outright bad, but it's just there. That makes sense. That's the kind of feeling like it's all right. Like there's some episodes I've preferred than others in this story so far. This one's just like move things along. Like I'm not it's not like I didn't like it. It's that it's just not super exciting. Like last episode we had the the spearhead and all that kind of stuff. Ian and Breston meeting the larvae and stuff like that. We had a few things happen. This one, like, we had things happen, but it just it didn't have as much which you don't need all the time. You do need episodes that move story along. So I'm hoping, well, it's all going to come together in the last episode anyway, because it's the last episode of the sto story. Like I'm, I do feel like the um, Ian and that are below, whether it's where the creature is, or below the built the main part of the building where the Doctor is currently. Like I'm assuming they've been cocooned in that stuff. Doctor and Vicky to be able to be transported. Like I think Vicky still had this thing in her hand, which is good. Barbara's in charge of the army, which is cool. Yeah, that was all right. But it again, it was not like oh, I really enjoyed that one. That that or that one was, that one was quite good. It wasn't that. It was just it was all right. Now I don't know if that's partly because of how I'm feeling. Literally, I feel so drained. I could sleep for days. Like trying to edit stuff, multiple different things in a day, including like good omens, which is like 15 minutes long, and other stuff as well. Whilst looking after my special needs daughter, it's extremely tiring. L Luckily, I've bought down all good omens, so I don't have to stay up later to do that now. Just got to do these three things tonight. I never thought that finishing my Twitch streams at half past twelve, I think, was a is uh, early. 
but it's going to seem early and oh like I, i'm so i'm looking forward to the fact that friday and saturday like i can do just like one thing on i can do these things on the friday and then blake seven on the saturday and then like if i just do blake seven on the saturday i can get i possibly get a bed before 12. lovely oh like part of my head is looking forward to when i have the two two weeks off because we've got um we don't know exactly what date we're moving into the house but we've got a date for exchanging keys now so um that's coming up I, as I've said in other videos, I'm going to put up a video explaining what's going on, explaining my moving date, because the week before the moving date and the week after the moving date, I'm not going to be releasing any videos. If I can, I'm going to hopefully record some stuff in the evening because it, like, it'll be my winding down thing after packing and all that kind of thing. And then the week after we're moving in, I've, my mentally, because of how my head is and like, being used to routine and familiar things it might take me a while to get used to being in a new place so there's that and then also so i'm going to be in a little room like this room i could get the desk like four times after this one that way and that and then like at least one and a bit times that way with my length of my desk so this is quite a big room this it was meant to be a guest bedroom downstairs guest bedroom originally when my dad designed the house but i'm going to be in like basically the box room over on top of the stairs, if you know what I mean, in the English house, you know, like the little small box room, get a single bed type thing in there. So the sound's going to be different. So I'm going to have to like spend time to set it all up again, which I can do over several nights, hopefully. But I should be back. It depends on when the moving date is, to be honest. It's going to be a nightmare. But I'm looking forward to like those nights. Like I said, I'm, I'm going to batch record some stuff. But I'm also not going to do that every night because I want to get an early night's sleep. It'd be lovely. But hopefully I'll be able to reset things. And But it's all happening. And then hopefully once we moved in, my daughter's back at school. Things could be properly on the schedule again because I can literally assign times when I'm going to record things. Assign times when I'm going to edit things. I put, put, get a proper schedule when i'm going to do everything so hopefully it'll all come back together and start being a bit more regular again because if you've been here since like january last year it's been a bit kind of a bit of a crazy thing and like this house still needs to be sold after we move out but i'll be out of here so it's going to be a big and emotional thing as well for me this was the last place i saw my dad alive so it's a bit of a Ugh. but yeah so it's going to be interesting and i will definitely keep you guys up to date like if you have any questions about this i um this wednesday which like the first like wednesday of august and thursday i'm going to be streaming on the channel live streaming so if you want to come in the chat ask a question about these videos any of my other times stuff like that you're more than welcome to at the moment except for those two weeks i'm doing wednesdays and thursdays live streaming on the channel Come September, we're going to be doing Baldur's Gate 3. But this week, we're doing Sherlock Holmes, A Devil's Daughter. We're starting that. So you're more than welcome to come in. I'm, apologies for going off at the end of the bit. But I'm tired. And I got a way to explain how I feel about this episode. In a way, it didn't wake me up enough as what other episodes would wake me up enough. You know, like, I had to finish editing um, Poirot. Because I like I knew if I sat there like just editing, zoning out, editing, I would have fallen asleep. And I was looking forward to watching my stuff to wake me up. And this hasn't quite perked me up and woken me out of like that like tired eyes stage. So yeah, it like, again, it was alright. Had potential. I like the characters, like the character movement of the Monoptera and stuff like that. Their design outfit design. I really fucking hate the Vaseline. I get what they were going for, but my head really struggles with it which is why i'm watching it on this and not on the blu-ray so i can have subtitles but yeah i'd love to know what you guys think of this episode or how like did you think it was it was like all right like it was just there move things along but yeah i'd love to know what you guys think of the episode 
If you enjoyed the reaction, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, give the notification bell a tick. You'll know when the next episode goes live. Thank you so much for watching, guys, and I'll see you again for the next one. Bye.